to achieve a net zero world, we need to invest in the hosting capacities of our grid. This needs to go up exponentially. And in order to do that, you actually need more copper, yes, but in essence, you need to manage your grid smarter. And that means managing planning, operations, and maintenance of your grids in a more sophisticated way, in a smarter way, so that you can have a better return on investment and really take advantage of data and take advantage of a digital representation of your grid. Yes, you're 100% correct. It's not only across planning, operations and maintenance of grid, it's also across IT and OT that you need to have that seamless integration. And our digital twin approach really comes to life if you look, at, for instance, to FinGrid in Finland, where they really utilize the same representation of the actual grid across all three different processes. And likewise in the US, if you look at AEP, for example, American Electric Power, they follow the same approach and have that as the centerpiece of how they integrate their IT and OT landscape. Essential is the very short answer to your question. Um, the longer version would be we absolutely count on partners. And why is it so essential? Because not only we provide even better value to DSOs and TSOs, and on top of that, we are faster in innovation. And these days, it's all about speed. The energy transition just can't wait. And if we do that with partners, if we integrate with technology partners, if we work with system integrators, if we work with, frankly, our customers as partners, then we can be so much faster in innovating and really proposing whole new solutions. Thank you.